To start your show now, press 1. To hear important instructions, press... Your show is scheduled to start in 11 seconds. Your show will go live in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Log Talk Radio. <laughs> and harmonious vibrations. I am Divine Lady Ninhursag, your sister of a distant moon, and you have entered the Goddess Zone. Today on the Goddess Zone, we will be discussing the path of spiritual ascension and enlightenment with Elder Sandra Mathis, our resident guest. Before we get into our topic of discussion for today, I just want to invite you to follow me on YouTube at Divine Lady Nen Hersog, also on Facebook at Divine Lady Nen Hersog, and yes, I am now on Patreon at Occult Learning, Occult Knowledge to Blissful Living. I apologize. Occult knowledge to blissful living and you can find me on patreon at divine lady ninhursag and thank you so much for joining the show today uh, if you would like to call in with a question or comment the guest call in number is 646-564-9767 now without further ado let's go ahead and welcome our guest for today Hello, Elder Sandra, are you there? Yes, how are you? Lady Men Hurt I'm honored. How are you today? I'm doing very well today. I had a very busy weekend and I'm just kind of getting uh, refreshed, ready for the show. How about yourself? Awesome, awesomeness, awesome. I'm so honored to be here and I. Um, I just get so excited when Sundays come and it's time for our show, and uh, I'm I'm really uh, you know excited about it expanding to an hour very soon because there's just not enough time in 30 minutes to say all that that needs to be said about the ascension process. So I want to first start out by giving the affirmation for today. That is, I am the manifestation of divine love, and so are you. Once again, I am the manifestation of divine love, and so are you. Ashe. So today's topic, uh, yes, thank you. Um, today's topic that I chose to, um, to speak briefly on was about the liberation of the soul. Someone asked me uh, the other day about how they could start out liberating their soul, mind, and their body. Mm -hmm. So I just chose the deepest part to me, the deepest part of the question would be about the soul. So if you guys have a pencil and paper, uh, it would be best to write down some of the information if, uh, if you desire to. I also um, uh, began with what is a soul? What is a soul? Where does the soul come from? And how can I liberate my soul? You know, how does it get damaged? And those get questions. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start out by explaining what the soul is. The soul is, in my opinion, the part of you that existed before you were born. Or, you know, and even you will continue to exist uh, on the physical realm, on the, on the spiritual realm and different realms when you so-called leave the physical vehicle. Um, the soul is the highest part of yourself. 
uh, that you could possibly reach for or tap into. It's also the unique part of you that is your true self. Uh, the soul is where your divinity is or where it lies. The soul is the core of your being and it does not exist in space or time. And I'll be talking about it a little bit later. The soul is where your internal reference point in which you should always be in touch, right? So um, if we can get any questions on that, uh, if, if everyone is clear about what the soul actually is, and you'll come up with many more definitions because uh, I talk with a lot of spiritual masters and they have a lot of different uh, opinions, but it, you know, it's going to boil down to the very same thing that existed before you were even born and where it comes from. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to bre- take a break and ask if there's any questions or is everyone clear on what the soul actually is. Okay, well we do have a couple of callers on the line and I'm going to go ahead and bring one of the callers on. Thank you. Hello, caller. 5685. Please state your name and ask your question or give your comment. Caller, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, thank you for calling the Goddess Network. How are you today? I'm doing marvelous. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Do you have a question or comment for Elder Sandra? Um, I don't have a question at this time. I'm very intrigued by her Facebook persona, so I tuned in today because um, she usually has a good word and good uh, spiritual motivation. Oh. oh, my goodness. Wow. That is so beautiful. Thank you. What am I speaking with? It's the Umi. Hi, C. How are you? And that beautiful angel you have. I am doing amazing, and he is right here looking at me. Oh, hugs to him, hugs to him. Thank you for calling and listening in. Um, no, and, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, have a great day. I'm going to call you shortly, okay? Okay. All right, thank, thank you, caller. <laughs> okay, we have another caller line. Hold one moment, please. Uh, 312, area code, 7164, last four digits. Are you there, caller? Seven one six four. Caller, are you are you here with us? Okay, well they might have stepped away, but we can come back to them. I'll just leave them, I'll just place them back on hold. And if you have a question or comment for Elder Sandra, just call in at the 646-564-9767 and we'll be glad to assist you uh, with the information you require. Okay, Elder. Okay, thank you. So we'll move right along on what is the soul. Uh, I briefly broke down what the soul is the next part of the uh, topic for today is where does the soul come from? The soul comes from the creative intelligence of source, right? Mm-hmm. It's a collection of all kinds of different vibration of consciousness of source, right? Let me say that again. The creative intelligence of source is a collection of all kinds of different vibrations of the consciousness of source. Souls are specific programs created by source and contains unlimited multidimensional realities for us to be a part of mm. or for us to experience. Yes. <clears throat> Your yes. vibrational frequency is a very uh, intricate and unique part of you as a projected program from source. In other words, it is your fingerprint or your blueprint of yourself that is like none other. Mm. So where does your source come from? It comes from different vibrational frequencies of all kinds everywhere as uh, in source, as, as a part of the consciousness of source. Mm-hmm. And uh, you were created as a program by source and you contain unlimited multidimensional realities for you take for us to experience. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. And, um, we're going to talk about if there's any questions on where the where does the soul come from. I'll pause just a second and then we'll just listen. Okay. One moment. We do have a caller. Uh, nine seven eight is okay. the area code. Zero three three six is the last four. Welcome to the Goddess Zone. Caller, are you with us? Hello, caller. Nine seven eight area code. Please state your name and whatever question or statement you have. For Elder Sandra. Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Hello? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Awesome! And who am I speaking with? This is Janice McManus. Hi, Janice McManus. How are you? I'm doing okay. It's wonderful to hear your voice. We are, what question did you have um, for us today? Or did you want to make oh, a comment? Well, I just want to say I'm glad I got an invitation to hear the show. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I didn't know there was a particular question of the day. Uh, uh, now, just um, <clears throat> the topic that we're basically talking about, someone asked me about how to liberate the soul. And um, so I was just breaking down a few pointers about where the soul comes from, what it actually is, and the second part of the radio program will be addressed on how the soul is damaged and what you can do to rectify that situation. So um, you can take notes or you can come up with a question near the end of the show uh, once we finish uh, giving out the rest of the information if you'd like. All right, that sounds good. I'm so glad that you joined in. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know much about the soul out there. I know. I know it is absolutely. And with with the um, with the planet going through the ascension process, it's very very important that we get this information out as light workers and healers and things. It's very important that we let people know that. Don't just hold that Mm -hmm. inside of you. So. This person in particular asked me, well, how do I, how do I liberate my mind, body, and spirit? I feel like I'm not doing anything. Uh, do I even have a soul? Sure you have a soul. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Right. Let's just tell you where it comes from and where it came from and what it is. So that's what the show is about, Janet. Mm-hmm. All right, that's good. I try to tell people every day, uh, give them some tips and pointers about being in the light. Absolutely. So last night I saw someone I had seen in a while, they were very good. So That's very, I, very good. I had to, uh, I just sent them a message today. I said, I hope your soul and spirit one day will be in peace and light because they seem so troubled. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, well, you sent them light by saying that. Uh, that okay, the words are very powerful. Absolutely. Your words help them. Quite a bit. We're the very. Are you going? Are you going to discuss the miracle prayer? Um, no, we're we're just discussing the liberation of the soul okay. today. Well, but that okay. would be a topic that I can talk about another time. Thanks so much for calling in, and uh, okay. we're going to get to the second part of the show. Right, thank, thank you, you so much. Okay. Love you, girl. Okay, <laughs> love you all too. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you for calling. Okay, we'll go to the next caller. Um, our caller that we had placed on hold, they still seem to be there, so we'll check in with them. Okay. Okay, caller, 312 area code 7164. Are you here? Okay, maybe they've stepped away, but I'll just go ahead and disconnect them. If you would like to give us a call and ask a question or uh, make a statement, our number to call in is 646-564-9767, and we'll be glad to assist you. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and continue with the second part of the show. 
Okay, thanks, Shatina. Leading in her sag. The second part of the show, I'll be discussing how you actually damage your soul mm -hmm. and what we can do to uh, help uh, rectify the situation. So we've already talked about what the soul is and where it comes from. The third part would be how the soul is damaged. You can you can be um, unstable, over emotional. Mm -hmm. You can have an abundance of fear, shame, and guilt. Mm -hmm. There's a lack there is there's a lack of enough peace in your life. In other words, you're not you don't have a lot of peace going on in your life. Yes, that damages the soul. If you're always anxious and nervous about things. Mm -hmm. or if you're easily offended and hold things inside, or if you hold emotions of hate and grudges, etc. Now, the previous uh, two or three shows, we talked about the chakra system and the spiritual centers located up and down the spine mm -hmm. in, a, in a human being. Um, and so where all of these things are stored at, it would be in the sacral chakra, uh, where you got uh, traumatization, where uh, you had some pretty rough things going on even in your past lives uh, that is stored there that has to be cleared or released. Mm. Um, and so that's how the soul is damaged. It just sits there and sits there and sits there mm -hmm. and, and it weights you down and you keep having all of these health problems and medical problems uh in near the abdomen in in the male and the female and you can't figure out where is all of this this stuff coming from because i know i eat healthy uh you know i do the right things i exercise and all but you know the body and the soul and the spirit and the mind all this all of these things are very very unique and each have a different part that holds different types of energy mm -hmm. so your body stores all that traumatic energy in the chakra in the sacral chakra and the okay. female is located uh, just above her, uh, between her legs where her vagina is located, and in the male, underneath the testicle. So if you're having these types of problems, you might ought to begin things to start liberating your soul as well, especially if you're eating well uh, and you're exercising, but you're still having some health issues, mm -hmm. right? So the, the steps to, to begin the liberation of the soul would be number one you should sit down and meditate at least five to thirty minutes a day at least find you some really really nice uh peaceful music to listen to that relaxes you close the door put a sign on the door that says do not disturb please at least five or ten minutes now you don't have to really close yourself off in a room to meditate you can drive to a park or go near where, uh, go out to the ocean or the water and just sit there and look at the water, listen to the sound of it. That is a healing. And plus, if you're near the ocean, the water has salt in it and salt water is a healing mechanism for your soul. Um, and the second thing we can do is we can have, we can participate in activities that gives us, uh, that we could, that creates uh, happiness and joy for it. Mm -hmm. Like if you like to play ball or do you like to swim? Uh, do you like to uh, mentor children? Uh, anything that you can create that brings you happiness and joy. In, in my case, a lot of people call me weird. I like to drive. When I drive, I meditate. When I'm driving and I actually don't go in and out in another realm, I actually like looking at all of the trees, uh, the way the road is shaped, how beautiful the trees bow down and hug me when I'm going through them, different things like that. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So now the third thing, I would always practice self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others because when you don't forgive yourself, you tell others you carry that energy. Of, of guilt, shame, uh, and, and uh, uh, jealousy, envy, all of those things blocks your progress in the ascension pro process. So you want to always practice self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others. It doesn't matter what it is. Yes, it, it probably hurt you to the core, but getting it out 
would be the thing that would liberate your soul or start that liberating process. Um, the fourth thing, I would choose a sacred prayer or a mantra to say every day and be consistent with it. With it. A mantra is simply a saying that you would say every day and the, and the word or, or a high vibrational word uh, that would bring about uh, spiritual uh, liberation. You can say a mantra of peace or you can do a sacred prayer in, in the uh, case of um, where I'm concerned, I have uh, like four sacred prayers that I say uh, every day, and um, and I try to read. If I don't say them, I'll read them every day, or just look at them and just take on the energy of that prayer. You can say thank you, thank you, God, for being here. That's my sacred prayer. Bless you, bless the children, Lord. That's my prayer today. Or any a prayer is very very easy, and a sacred prayer doesn't mean you have to read something that someone else has made up. You can make up your own sacred prayer because you are divinity. You're a sacred in a human body. Mm -hmm. So that would be the fourth thing that you could that you could do. The fifth thing, go outside and ground yourself daily. No shoes. Walk on the ground. Walk in the grass with your shoes off. This is what the Egyptians knew. This is what a lot of the people over in Africa do. They walk barefooted because they're connecting with the uh, beautiful sacred grid of the planet. And it keeps them balanced and aligned. Also, you can uh, sun gaze, take in sunlight. Sunlight has a lot of vitamin D in it. It heals the cell where uh, no doctors can, uh, they can give you any amount of medication, but the sun is the best healer. Without the sun, we would all breathe or we would die, so to speak. And six, be honest and true to yourself at all times. How can you lie to yourself? You can lie, but it'll still be there and you'll know that you've lied to yourself. So why not turn that around and be honest and say, I can't, I can't do this. I can't tell a lie. I'm not going to tell a lie. I'm not going to even try to manipulate it. So mm -hmm. these are the things that start the process of liberating relation of the soul. And the last thing you would be, I would have to say, is listen to a nice selection of theta waves. Uh, theta waves are high vibrational waves that brings about healing within the entire uh, chakra system in the body and the mind. And it's just vibrational waves that moves you inside. You'll feel it once you uh, go to YouTube and type in theta waves. So you can listen to... Uh, Alpha or uh, Delta, those are those are nice. Get you some uh, uh, CDs that have or or uh, tones that have bird sounds in them, water or thunder and rain and things like that. That will raise your vibrational frequency, thus leading to the liberation of the soul and being healthy for the mind and the body and the spirit as well. So that's my um, lesson for today, uh, Lady in Her Side. What is the soul? Where does it come from? Uh, how is it damaged? And the steps to liberate your soul. Okay. If there are any questions, uh, the audience can email me at kimamu underscore nine. That's Q like in Queen, E as in Emma, M as in Mary, A as in Apple, M as in Mary, U as in Umbrella underscore nine at yahoo.com my facebook page is sandra mathis i have two facebook page pages and i have lots of information there about the ascension process on both pages okay awesome that was an amazing share i definitely um appreciate the valuable information that you have offered here um just you know to add in addition um, to some of the things that you touched on was about meditation. And um, I guess, you know, people don't always consider, you know, all the things. Just like you mentioned, driving is a form of meditation. And I did want to make a point that journaling, journaling is twofold. Um, journaling is a form of meditation. And journaling is also a form of, of self-healing. Uh, by putting these words on paper, getting these feelings out and these emotions that have been um, stored in the in the um, energetic body 
for years and years and years uh -huh. by writing you'll be getting those emotions, those feelings, that energy, you begin to get that energy moving. And you definitely spoke about the female energy and a lot of our trauma is stored yeah. in the womb area. And you yeah. could attend some type of uh, Qigong or some type of energy class or Reiki, a Reiki healer or any energy master to get that moving. Um, there are also things that we can do for ourselves to help get that uh, energy moving. And I am speaking from a, a, a spiritual aspect, the divine feminine aspect, uh, because I am female, <laughs> but also because that is the majority of my audience and I can relate to uh, women, uh, you know, in those areas. And that is my job. That is why I'm here on the planet to help women and girls liberate themselves because only you can do that. No one can do that for you, but we can provide the information that has come to us and we can provide that information to you. Um, also, I want to go ahead and mention, since we are talking about the sacred uh, feminine, divine feminine and that sacred energy, um, being stored in our womb area uh, very soon at the end of this month in August in the DC um, Maryland Virginia area will be hosting a Punani power retreat and it's going to be a three-day retreat the first day will be a watch party of the matrix series discovering who we are with the Divine Feminine. Uh, the second day, we will have a Qigong master. Her name is Nicole Jackson. Uh, she studied in Thailand, and she will be helping us to move that energy around that is stored in our womb area, helping us to release uh, feelings of anger, frustration, depression, all those things that we don't yeah. want and that's keeping us from moving forward. Uh, we'll also be having a class on yoni eggs and how to use them and the benefits of using them. Yoni eggs are very helpful with strengthening the vaginal walls and in the womb area that will assist with controlling uh, the bladder, also increased uh, orgasms and sexual pleasure and untold more number of reasons why yoni eggs are so beneficial. Um, she even has okay. yoni eggs that she recommends because uh, these were the best ones as she can see. And uh, she also has a website. I don't have that quite handy right now, but if you Google Nicole Jackson, um, her studio will appear. She does have a studio in the Washington, D.C. area. On Sunday, we will be wrapping everything up with Coach Kaisi Valerie Love. She will be discussing 22 things your Yoni loves. And this is sure to be um, an exciting wrap up to the show. There will be an all vegan menu that weekend and we're just gonna have an amazing time. I do want to inform you that <clears throat> if, if you're interested in this event, don't delay. You can go to uh, Eventbrite and you can search Punani Power Retreat. Uh, there are limited spaces just so that we can provide uh, optimum experience for each of the guests. So we don't have much time left in the show. I did want to make those announcements because it's so it's very good to discuss these things, but we also want to make sure we're being practical and we're providing information that will also assist people in this process. Is there anything else you would like to say real quick? We're almost out of time. Oh, no, I just appreciate the audience. Thank you, everybody, for calling in. I sent out a lot of notices and everything, and uh, hopefully uh, this will uh, kind of stimulate the mind for those who are listening, you can either text me, message me, 
or message Lady Mentor Tag as Katina Elliott on Facebook with any question. Okay, well, thank you so much, Omi, for um, giving us this wonderful information. As always, it goes by so fast. And I am Divine Lady Nin Hersog, your sister of a distant moon, and I have come to assist in setting the captives free. I love you with my whole soul.